UAW leaders are getting tough ahead of a critical contract negotiation on the horizon. At a news conference this afternoon, Union President Gary Jones says the UAW plans to use every ounce of leverage they have at their disposal. Let's bring in business editor Rod Maloney. And Rod, uh, that sounds like strike talk. Indeed it does precisely. You know, here's the thing. There are thousands of these in the back closets of union halls all across the country. And to listen to Gary Jones talk today, you get the idea that they're looking to break these out sooner rather than later. The stakes are especially high this year. And after General Motors fired a shot across the UAW's bow by closing five plants last year, only to extend work at Detroit Hamtramck, the UAW, which wrapped up its convention at Cobo Center today, is loaded for bear. We will do what we need to do. We'll use every ounce of our leverage every last ounce. That is by far the toughest talk we've heard from a UAW president since the mid 2000s and to stoke those flames Jones this week up the strike pay for line workers who might just walk off the job if negotiations don't go well to $250 a week up from 200. We are here to protect our workers, our workforce and our way of life. And to do that, we used every last ounce of leverage. Yet Jones knows he needs to mend fences at home first. His membership is not only reeling from the GM cuts and possibly impending Ford cuts, Jones invoked the General Holofield scandal today. Holofield, a now deceased Fiat Chrysler vice president, along with his wife, UAW staff, and FCA managers, defrauded the FCA UAW training center out of millions. I am deeply saddened and irritated that some members of this union and some leaders in the auto companies exploited their positions to benefit themselves. It frustrates me, and I know it frustrates you. He's talking to his membership there. He's calling it the clean slate agenda, doing all kinds of things to try and change the culture at the UAW. But for all of the talk about strike and scandal, the thing that they're deeply concerned about and may even be a bigger worry than those is electric vehicles. Because when you're going to build an electric vehicle, it takes far fewer people because the car requires far fewer parts. So they're going to be bargaining to try and keep as many jobs as they can and build the batteries in this country. It is going to be quite the summer. Jason, back to you. Speaking of the summer, Rod, are we likely to see a strike? You know, there's the distinct possibility that as they get down to the end and they don't feel like they're getting anywhere to kind of goose the talks along, you might see a, a, a small walkout or a couple of small day workouts. If you see a national strike, boy, you, you know that they've really gone for broke on this one. Yeah. Um, I don't think that they're headed that way, but there's certainly, when you're talking like this, uh, that there's the possibility we could see at least some small ones. Yeah, a lot of tough talk. All right, Rod.